Hello, we're doing another get ready with me today. I know two videos back to back that are the same kind of video. Unheard of. Today we are getting ready for dinner and then a birthday party. It is birthday season. I have so many friends that have birthdays in the next month or so and then it's my birthday. Today's drink of choice is a lychee oolong tea and our cup of choice is little unused from last video. We're not drinking today. We're not drinking alcohol today because actually I'm going to go to a pregame. So pregaming by myself today is not necessary. We are listening to Lana today and I guess this will just be like my first impression of her album. Let's begin. I don't know like the most graceful way to do this. Oh, also praying I don't spill today, even though I already just did. I Starting off strong. So my camera stopped recording and I don't know where it stopped recording. And this always happens when I have it on like a certain setting. The setting that I put it on where it will continuously record, it like blurs my face and I don't like that. So I don't know what to do about that. I need some help. Miss L has joined the chat. Okay, enough. How is everybody? How are you? Last night I had a little girls night with my girlies and it was really fun, really refreshing. We just made dinner and talked for literally like four hours. So usually I put my Charlotte Tilbury on before my foundation and before my concealer, but I saw someone on TikTok do it after they done their foundation. So I'm gonna try that. I don't really know what the purpose of that is, but it looked really good on her, so I hug Elle once and there's cat hair fucking all over my face. So if you see me like picking at my face, like I'm literally tweezing off stray cat hairs. I need to stop saying that I'm clumsy because I've been saying it a lot recently and ever since I've started saying it more, I've become more clumsy. Okay, so this is how she did it. She just kind of put it on like her cheek area. Recently, I've been thinking about how I've just been so satisfied with the friends that I have and the people that are in my life that I just don't really bother trying to make new friends which I don't think necessarily is like a bad thing or anything, but since I'm not in school anymore, there's just much less an opportunity to make friends and meet new people that I think I'm gonna start putting more effort into trying to make friends again. This is like a thing for me because I've just had really bad anxiety pretty much my entire life and especially social anxiety. Obviously like I'm a lot better now and whatever, but because I've kind of reached a level of satisfaction with the people that are in my life. I've stopped putting an effort in trying to make connections with new people. I'm starting to realize that out of college, it's kind of hard to do that. And I'm sure anyone who's in kind of the same time of life or era of life as me can say the same, maybe. I'm not a big horror movie, scary movie, TV show, thriller genre kind of girly. I'm already so anxious by nature that I really don't need the extra anxiety from like watching something of high intensity. I'm not even kidding you. I watched Coraline when I was 14 or something and I have not watched it since because I was terrified. And I feel like that's not even a scary movie. Oh, I've actually heard this song before. Cute, I like it. I'm not the biggest fan of like zombie arc plot um, movies or TV shows. It's been done so many times and it's in a lot of ways like overdone and it's so hard to do something that is overdone in a new and fresh way. And also like anything zombie related, I know will scare the fuck out of me because the way they kind of do zombie movies, I know it's always gonna be like of really high intensity, but I've had so many people tell me to watch The Last of Us and I am obsessed with Pedro Pascal. I love Game of Thrones and I loved him in Game of Thrones and I watched his Hot Ones, um, I guess it's an interview. So I was like, I have to watch it. I blew through it in like three days. I'm on episode nine right now. Ooh. I'm like, can I talk while he's talking? Something about me is I love my TV. I take my TV 
very seriously. It's very important to me. TV for me is the ultimate me time. What I choose to watch, I choose very carefully. Here's what I think. First of all, it is really good. I'm really enjoying the production of it. It doesn't feel like I am watching television. There's some TV shows and movies where I know that it's a movie, you know, and it just kind of like takes me away from it. But this, the production is really well done and it doesn't feel like I am watching a TV show. It feels like this is very possible and this might even be like an alternate universe type of thing. The acting, really great. It doesn't feel like they're acting, like it really feels like they're there. Even the way they kind of created how the zombies came about was fairly creative, I think. Usually the approach to zombies is kind of like it's a virus. I mean, the concept is at its core very similar because instead of a virus, it was a fungus and it's still like, an infection, like something that people catch. But I feel like it was a fresh approach to how the apocalypse comes instead of it just being like a disease that was like made in a lab from scientists like testing diseases or whatever. I feel like that's usually how it is. The main thing about this show is that it's just so fucking high intensity that I'm like, <sighs> like I don't breathe for the entire hour or hour and a half that the episode is happening. The thing with these kinds of shows is too, I can't watch them before I sleep. And that is usually when I watch TV. After I finished this eighth episode, I had to like go watch some lighthearted shit to kind of like get those images out of my mind because I was like, I'm gonna have fucking nightmares. Like that is absolutely fucking terrifying. I really tried to get away with shooting this Get Ready With Me on the mode of this camera that doesn't blur my face but it kept stopping the video in the middle of it and I'm sorry. I don't like this. It makes me feel like I look orange. Probably need to do some research. For the eyes, I recently finished watching Castlevania for the second or third time. One of my favorite TV shows, probably the best show in my opinion of all time. And this is a whole discussion. We do not need to get into it right now. I was really inspired by how the eyes of the characters are animated and I've created kind of like a look inspired by that. And I've just been doing that for the past month or so. And so that's what we're doing today. It's just my current go-to look. It's simple, but not too simple where it's kind of just boring, but it's not crazy to the point where it's doing too much, you know? I will say this album is definitely not a good pre-going out album. Loki, we might need to change the music because I'm like, I'm so mellow. I feel like I can't really be talking right now. I'm like, this isn't really the vibe that we're going for before going out, you know? We gotta change the song. I'm just, I'm literally about to start crying like, I remember being in the Victorian and this song came on and I was, I was like, time for the other eye and we gotta, you know, work on that symmetry. Sometimes I can't listen to rap lyrics because they're so degrading towards women that I'm like, why, how are rappers and hip hop artists still rapping about like over sexualizing women like i feel like we're so past that i'm gonna come back to this eye and just start in this eye because it's not happening holy shit this is just not working today okay i mean they are different but they're close enough we're gonna be drunk anyways it doesn't matter Whew. This is probably the worst execution I've ever done of this look, which is tragic. We're just having an awful eyeliner day today. Here's a wrap. Honestly, I'm gonna just leave it alone. It's fine. I kind of feel like it's missing something though. Like what, what can I do to spice it up just a little bit? Hmm, maybe white? Okay, so I'm, I guess I'm just gonna go in with this little white glitter. All of a sudden it's a makeup tutorial. Okay, cute, but also it's still, I feel like missing something. Also, if I keep adding things to it, I'm gonna overdo it at some point. I don't wanna do that. Ooh, I don't know. Yesterday is just not a good makeup day. I think once I add mascara, it'll come together. Right now, I'm thinking it's just doing way too much. Mascara usually solves all of my problems, so. Let's just move on. Okay, I'm just, I'm not feeling this playlist. Things are just not going well today, I guess. I'm gonna go to my liked songs. We're just gonna listen to that, I don't know. Sorry if that was weird. I was just trying to get the extra glitter off my face. 
Oh my god, I gotta stop. I I have to stop. It's not getting any better. Okay, let's move on. Holy shit. For today's birthday party, I'm the designated photographer, which is weird because I'm not a photographer. Like I'm not bad at taking photos. Compositionally, I think I'm decent. I think I can produce like a nice looking photo. My favorite kinds of photos are candid photos. And I think when you're photographing, photographing? When you're photographing, <laughs> When you're photographing a party or something like that, especially like a birthday party, the best photos are the candid photos and I'm obsessed with candid photos. I'm kind of excited to see how this goes for me because I'm not a photographer and I've never done like a photography job. The closest thing that I've done to photography is when I was in high school, I took AP art and the category that I put myself in was photography because I would like use the little set that we had on campus and take like self portraits and then I would go into Photoshop shop and like do cool edits this is like my art like that is me in high school okay wait that is pretty much the extent of my photography experience i feel like this is kind of perfect though because i wanted an excuse to kind of talk to people i am not the kind of person who will just go up to someone and talk i'm way too scared but I think this will be perfect for me to try to talk to people. And I've mentally prepared as well to talk to pretty much everyone, hopefully. So this is gonna be interesting. It's a new experience for me and I'm really excited. Even my mascara is not acting right. What is happening today? What is in the air? Random change of plans. Dinner is happening right now and I'm gonna have to finish getting ready after dinner. See you then, I guess. We're just going with it. Okay, I am back from dinner. Honestly, dinner was a whole ordeal and now we kind of have to speed things up. This is what I ended up wearing to dinner. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I really wanted to finish getting ready while there was still light because I hate doing my makeup in artificial light. Originally, it was supposed to be dinner with like friends and then we would just go straight to like the pre. But my mom is actually going to China for two weeks to see her family and my sister. So she super last minute asked me to go to dinner with her. That's kind of what happened. Um, I am gonna do my hair off camera. I think I've decided to, actually, you'll just see. You'll just see, beep beep. So this is the hair. We're gonna speed through this. So I'm doing Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil because I am a glitter girl. I love glitter. I just think extra glitter just adds a little extra extra, you know? It also smells amazing. And then we know my classic vanilla. I always do, <coughs> oh my God, again. I'm gonna go with these three earrings this time because last time we did Okay, this hair is like really annoying me, but there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, and then shoes. Shoes, naked wolf, it just makes sense. Dresses, I am Gia. A bag, I'm just going with Prada because we just got to get it moving. That's the final look. Sorry about the chaos, but I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I had fun. Thank you for keeping me company and I'll see you next time. <laughs> that was a pretty legit outro from me, okay? Be proud of me. Okay, good night. Have fun tonight. Mwah.